In this classroom here at, for our corn soybean college, we're looking at carbon penalty. Kind of a unique thing that shows up. These beans were planted 426. They flowered on June 13th. And they're basically R2. They're fully flowered. But these plants have been stunted. They stood still for about four weeks in the carbon penalty, trying to decompose last year's corn stalks in that V3, V4 range. They just couldn't get enough size to them to get themselves out of it. They're finally coming out of it. So the um, size will start to take off. If we just step over here, this is an alleyway from last year's corn college where we rolled, we cut the corn stalks down in July. We rolled them down and you were walking through this pathway. The stalks are still here, but they never went to maturity and we have a lot more time. So the carbon penalty was cooked out of here uh, a long time ago. Notice the size and the color of these beans. They very a little slow down for the carbon penalty. Now there still are two. So we'll take a look at what effect this has in yield. Uh, and we'll talk about what, what can be done to mitigate some of this carbon penalty. So here we brought these beans inside and we're looking at the effect of the carbon penalty. And definitely these beans that are in the old lane of last year in our classroom here at the Corn Soybean College didn't pay near the carbon penalty. They're off and running. They're a much larger bean, bigger leaf diameter. Where we're out there in the normal part of the field, if you want to call that pay in the carbon penalty, those beans are coming out of it. They got good nodules on them now, and these nodules are pink, but they're just coming out of it. They've been delayed. One interesting thing to look at, though, these are both R2 beans. They're in full flower. And I count the flower on these much larger beans. I have averaged 13 flowers right now on these two plants. I count the flowers on the shorter one, and I average 13 flowers. I look at the nodes. In this case, I'm right at about eight nodes of growth, and I'm about seven and a half here. So I'm only a half a node off but the nodes are stacked and it's taken longer to move through that uh, growth pattern. But when we think about the carbon penalty, that causes the stunning and growth and the slowness and growth. But what it doesn't do is affect the flowering so much. So in this case, flowering is affected by day or night length. In this case, both of these beans, different sizes were triggered to flower and they flowered about at the same time. Right now they're carrying the same amount of flowers. One of the reasons why carbon penalty looks tough in the spring, we get concerned about it, we get there in the fall and there's just not much effect from the carbon penalty on yield. Short beans don't mean short yields and tall beans don't mean big yields. So a situation where uh, these beans are very similar, but there is a difference in height.